In this series, we're going to put together a flash loan smart contract that allows you to perform flash loan swaps on the BNB chain between PancakeSwap V3 and PancakeSwap V2. So right now you can see here that I have some Solidity code for a smart contract. And when I go and run npx hardhat test, it will go and deploy this smart contract to a forked mainnet. In other words, it's simulating the blockchain and performing an arbitrage swap between a number of tokens on PancakeSwap v3 and PancakeSwap v2. What's cool about this approach is we can actually print out from the Solidity smart contract what it's actually doing to help you understand every line of code and what your smart contract is doing during development. Now we're not just simulating and forking the mainnet. I'm going to show you with my own money how to deploy this to the BNB chain mainnet itself. So your code will be live. You can access it from anywhere on any node or through any node provider. If you're someone who's quite serious about performing flash loan arbitrage on the BNB chain, I definitely recommend watching this video over here. I'll also put it in the description of the video that I'm posting here. And that will show you my own direct experience of trying to perform flash loan arbitrage on the BNB chain. And so this could be very insightful for you. Equally, all the code that I use to develop this smart contract for flash loans on BNB chain is available at coderators.com. So if you want to get all the code now, feel free to go and support myself and the channel by heading over to coderators.com. Now let's get into it. The project is going to look something like this. Everything is going to be done within Hardhat, which is a really cool JavaScript based framework for interacting with EVM based blockchains. So if you're working with something like Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum, for example, Hardhat is a fantastic framework. It makes everything easy to do and it allows us to also fork and simulate transactions on the mainnet. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, there's three main components. We have our smart contract section. So this is where we're going to write our smart contracts in Solidity. We have our testing section, which is going to be written in TypeScript. Once we've been able to fully test and successfully test our flash loan smart contract, we will then go and deploy it to mainnet. And the cool thing about this is once you have all that testing code, it's the same code to interact with it on mainnet. So you've already done all the work. We're also going to need to make sure we're on the same page in terms of package versions because versions change over time. And there might be a latest version of Hardhat or Ethers or Node or whatever when you're doing this course. So here I'm going to let you know what versions I'm using. But if things don't work for you and you're using different versions, consider using what I'm using here. If you don't already have Node installed, you can go and install it from here. So nodejs.org. And then make sure once you have it installed, you go npm ITS node for TypeScript node, because you might need that as well. And also for yarn, you can just go npm install dash dash global yarn, because I find yarn works the best when dealing with ethers based libraries like Hardhat, etc. So I like using Yarn. So please go and install Yarn as well. Once you have all that installed, you are ready to rock and roll with me here. The first thing I'm going to do is give you a quick crash course in Hardhat. So what we're going to do is open up our command line or terminal if you're like me and you're using a Mac. So I'm going to create a directory here of BSC flash loan. And there we go. Let me then CD into that BSC underscore flash loan and we can get going. Now taking a look at the hard hat documentation, let's just get a hard hat project set up. So the first thing we're going to do because we're using yarn is yarn in it dash Y. So what I'm going to do here is just type in yarn in it dash Y. And by the way, the hard hat docs are of course over at hard hat hard hat dot org. So if you want to follow along and have the documentation, I'm over here on setting up a project. Once we've gone and initialized that, we can now go here and go yarn add dash dash dev hard hat. So that's what I'm going to do over here. So let's go yarn add dash dash dev hard hat. And here we go. It's now going to go and install hard hat for us. Great. Once you've got all of that set up, you can just go into Visual Studio Code. So I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can download it if you don't already have it. And then just go to file open folder and find where you just created this project. So here I have the Binance Smart Chain flash loan. You'll notice I got into this just by going code space full stop. You can actually set up VS Code to do that for you with just a quick Google. So if you're wondering how I did that, 
That's how I got it to open up in VS Code and I highly recommend setting that up. Now, let's take a look over here. In terms of some of the extensions that I'm using in VS Code, I'm going to be using here Solidity. So just search for Solidity and it's this one here that I'm using for hard hat. You can see I've got it uh, installed over here. So Solidity v0.7.3. And I also have Pretty as well, Prettier. So if I search for that, you can see here Prettier Code Formatter. So every time I'm hitting save, the code is basically formatting neatly for me. So if you see all my code all of a sudden looking really neat, it's because I've got that installed as well. Our hard hat project has already initialized because we've just run all of that. So you can see here our package.json and it's got hard hat over here. And we will be changing all of this soon enough. But there we go. We have our hard hat version over here, 2.17.1 and any modules that it's installed here for Node as well. The next thing to go and set up Hardhat is just to run npx Hardhat. So here we'll go back to our VS Code and run npx Hardhat. And when we hit enter, it says, what do we want, a JavaScript or TypeScript? I always recommend going for TypeScript. And it says, where is our project root? Well, it's here in BSC Flash Loan. So we can just hit enter. And if you want to add a git ignore, you can, if you want to be using GitHub. And then it says, do you want to install the sample projects dependencies with Yarn? So if you're doing a sample project, you want to just get familiar with Hardhat, I just recommend hitting Y for yes. And it'll basically put together a full project for you that you can then experiment with to understand how Hardhat even works. Great. Now you'll see after doing that, we've actually got some files here that have been pre-populated for us. If we go to contracts, we'll see we have this lock.sol. And this is a Solidity smart contract that Hardhat has pre-written for us, just so we have a smart contract to play with. And you can see here, we have this Solidity version as well. By the way, if you're comfortable with JavaScript, but you're not comfortable with Solidity, then I definitely recommend doing a crash course in Solidity. There's a number of them on YouTube. I got really good feedback on the crash course in Solidity from this course here, Crypto Trading Execution with Flash Loans, Web3 and Hardhat. Remember, for those of you who are already members of Crypto Wizards or Code Raiders, this is free for you. So just go and access the course. You'll probably know Solidity as much as you need to within one to two hours. So definitely recommend doing that if you don't have experience with Solidity. Getting back to our smart contract here, we have a contract. This is a lock and it basically creates a lock and then allows you to interact with this lock. I'm not going to go spending a lot of time on this because it has nothing to do with flash loans, but that's what this contract is doing. So here's our Solidity smart contract. Now, if I go here, npx hardhat compile, hardhat will actually go and compile this smart contract. And you'll see it's now created these two folders here, artifacts and cache. If I go into artifacts and contracts and then go into this lock.json, you'll see here is the ABI for that smart contract that it just created. So ABIs, which we use to basically tell ethers what the interface looks like that it's going to interact with. So what does that function look like? What sort of parameters are we, are we gonna to pass to it when we call that function from that smart contract? That's what we're using that ABI for. So that's already being created for us over there, which is great. Something else to note here is we have this folder called scripts. This is where you can write any scripts you want. And one's been pre-written for us. Again, this is just a high level overview of the overall structure of hard hat. So I'm not gonna talk you through this line by line because we're gonna write our own line by line code for deploying flash loan smart contracts. But just understand here, you can run any scripts that you write that you save here in the scripts folder, for example. And what is this doing? Well, when you go to run this deploy, what it actually goes and does is it deploys this lock smart contract. So here's our smart contract, lock.sol. It will go and deploy that smart contract and it will deploy it with a certain value and wait for that deployment to happen. Once that deployment happens, it will go and print something else. So here, for example, if I go npx hardhat run scripts forward slash deploy, Dot ts. I'm telling it to look in the scripts folder and you can create any folder you want really, but we're going to run this in scripts and here's this deploy.ts. So when I go and do that, it will actually go and deploy that smart contract, not to a forked mainnet. So it's not actually using any 
real mainnet right now, or any simulation of that. It's just creating its own, think of it like its own blockchain, and it's going and deploying to that blockchain. You'll learn a lot more about this as we go through the course. Now, also here we have this test folder, which has a lock.ts. That's not the same as lock.sol. This is a test for lock.typescript. And this actually tests the smart contract. And so here we have a description of a test called lock. And within that, we have a function called deploy one year lock fixture. And so this will go and deploy this smart contract. And you can see it's got the same sort of code here. It gets the contract and then it deploys it. And when we look at the tests, it has a describe for deployment. So this is uh, now going to be a group of tests that runs. One of the tests is it should be, uh, it should set the right unlock time. And so here we have this, you know, load fixture. This load fixture is loading this function uh, for every test. So if you're going to write a function that gets loaded for every test, you could write that and then load it within every test block. So here's a test block here. Here's a test block over here. Here's a test block here. And you can see it's loading that each time. So if I go and run this npx hard hat test, it will actually know to go into this folder and run this. And you can see here it runs all of these tests and it tells you whether or not they are successful. So that's very, very useful. I can also go npx hard hat node. And here you'll see it actually runs the blockchain node, which is what it's doing behind the scenes anyway, when I'm running these tests, etc. When it runs this blockchain node, it gives you a pretend account. In fact, the first account is the one that we'll be working with that it gives you 10,000 Ethereum to play with. So it actually goes and gives you an account, a wallet address, everything that you can go and start using to interact with your smart contracts. So this is a very, very brief overview of hard hat, a big crash course into hard hat and the general structure. But as we go through the series, you're going to get to understand it a lot better because we're going to customize everything. First of all, we want to be on the BNB smart chain and or the Binance smart chain. And what I want to be doing is I want to be forking the mainnet, i.e. when it runs this simulation, I want it to simulate the actual right now blockchain on Binance. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. And Hard Hat makes that really, really easy. In fact, it's quite impressive. And so with all that said, what we now need to do is delete everything we've done. I'm going to highlight all of this all the way down to package.json and I'm going to go right click delete. So I'm going to delete all of this, move it to trash. I'm going to delete the readme. I'm going to delete the yarn lock, the tsconf. I'm going to delete all of it. Here we go. We're going to delete all of this and then go to the link that I provided in the description that gives you all the packages with the exact versions that we're going to use to make sure that you and I are on the same page. If we're not on the same page, the code won't work the same for you. In other words, if you have a slightly different version, you might run into headaches and it's always very frustrating for any developer, for all of us when that happens. So let's use the same version, copy all of that from the link I provided. And then over here, just go to package.json, get rid of all that and replace it with this code that I've just given you here. And this will give you all the packages, except this time with the versions that I'm using over here, which is great. So what we can do here is just clear out terminal as well. And we can go yarn dash dash exact. And now what it's going to do is it's going to install the exact packages that I'm using here with the exact version. So when you do uh, installation now of these packages, do yarn dash dash exact. You should now have this node modules and yarn dot lock. So you've now got all the same package versions as I've got. And we can actually get started now with building out our project. So in the next video, what we're now going to be doing is we're going to start building out both the smart contract and the tests simultaneously. And the reason why I want to do these two things simultaneously is so that you can test and interact with your development as you're going. So we're just going to keep right running tests, which essentially are just going to console log things. So you can get a feel for what is actually happening. What are we actually building and how is it all clicking together? And before we go and build all of that, we're going to need to set up our hard hat 
configuration so that every time we run a test, automatically it's going to fork the mainnet. So we're gonna take care of all of that in the next video. Thank you.